We're here today with Maria Fisk, a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes educator at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center. And today we're going to be talking about our nutritional counseling services. Maria, can you tell me how many people might benefit from receiving nutritional counseling? You know, almost every person could have some sort of a nutrition issue, whether it's obesity, high cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, eating disorders, and it may seem a little bit strange, but there's people who are also malnourished and losing weight because they can't eat. So we offer services and counseling for all those issues. And can you tell me what type of tests or screenings are done to determine whether or not a patient could benefit from nutritional counseling? There's a whole host of tests that can be done, starting with blood tests for lipids and cholesterol, also for anemia, also for vitamin deficiencies. Another aspect that we look at with nutrition care is bone density disease. As women get to menopause or through menopause, we're finding that many women suffer from low bone density issues and we address that as well. And what treatment options or services are available to these individuals who might need some assistance? We provide a one-on-one -on -one nutrition consult for anybody as long as they have a doctor's order can receive counseling. So anytime you may have a problem with one of your um, blood test or some type of a test that indicates a nutrition problem, we're here. We can see anybody as long as we have a doctor's order. And what are the benefits of receiving nutritional counseling at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center? When patients come to us for one-on-one -on -one counseling, we take a look at specifically their lab values, their issues, what their lifestyles are, if they're really cramped for time or if they do have time, what are their medications, and we tailor a nutrition program specifically for them. So many times people think that diets out there on the internet or in the press applies to them when they don't. And what are some of your unique or professional qualifications that you bring to the program? Being registered as a registered dietitian or certified as a certified diabetes educator, we give the patient that comfort, that knowledge that our background is giving them the most up-to-date information. Not only did we receive our education in the past, but through our continuing education, we continue to stay up-to-date to give our patients and our clients the most current information available. Maria, can you tell me what the unique expertise or experience is at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center? Of course, here at our medical center, we have highly qualified outpatient educators that offer patients a one-on-one -on -one consult. This is done to give our patients the best care that we could give them that we can offer. And it is really difficult to find this kind of an opportunity or service in other areas, in other hospitals, and we are uniquely qualified to give our patients this comprehensive kind of a education and service. And thank you very much for coming in today. It was really interesting to talk with you.